Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I uh, was in shock when I read this article, or at least I uh, look over its title. I couldn't believe my eyes. But, and I will share that with you. If I was impressed and surprised, I'm pretty sure you would be as well. So let's see what's going on here. This article comes from, even from the Ukrainska Pravda. Remember, it comes from a Ukrainian source. Unbelievable. You would not believe what I want to read to you guys. This comes today, June 19th, 2022. Now the title. Ready, set, go. Oleg Kutsin, the commander of the Karpatska Sikh Battalion, was killed on the front. You might say, what's the great news here? What's going on, Emil? And I will tell you. This is the first time I read an article, I find an article, saying that an Ukrainian commander was killed by the Russians on the battle, on a battlefield. First one. And this comes from the Ukrainians. Doesn't come from the lying Russians. Doesn't come from the Americans or the other free press. It comes straight from the Ukrainians. That's why I cannot believe it. I wonder why. Maybe you heard some other news about other commanders, but I haven't. I'm sorry. I'm so naive, so ignorant or whatever, man. Look, in the east of Ukraine, Oleg Kutsin, Kum, that's his name, Kum, K-U-M, call sign, godfather. Ooh, he was the godfather. The founder of the long time, the founder and long time leader of the Legion Svobody. Legion of Freedom, the com freedom, the commander of the Karpatska Sich, Sich Battalion, 49th Separate Rifle Battalion of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, was killed. Not by his girlfriend, it seems like in action. So the source, Rus Ruslan Mirtinskiv, the mayor of Ivano Frankivsk, Oleg Kiahiobok, head of Svoboda. Party. Yeah, again, let's go. Source, as I said, this is the head of Svoboda Party. He said that uh, the Godfather is gone. He's gone. Never coming back. Quote from Martisikiv. Martinkiv. Martinkiv. One of the most powerful commanders on the Eastern Front was killed. Oleg Kutsin. Founder and longtime leader of the Legion. 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 Svobody, commander of the Karpatska Sich Battalion, 49th Separate Rifle Separate Rifle Battalion of the Armed Forces, and a good man and an unconquerable spirit. End quote. Well, let's see. It says uh, they reported that Kutsin died on the Izum front. Well, Sorry to hear that. I make fun here and there, but as a, a guy who died defending his country, he might have family, he might have children, he might have a mom who would cry for the loss. And uh, unfortunately, this is how the war goes. And uh, I'm pretty sure other mothers cry too, and other children cry too from other people that uh, were killed by or uh, at this guy's command. But nevertheless, those are the invaders. He was the defendant of uh, this Izum at this, at this moment. What can I say? As I said, it's the first time, I will try to, it's the first time when I read that the Ukrainians are saying that one of their generals or whatever commanders died in action. Uh, the thing is, why am I saying this? Because they were very, very fast to announce each and every time they assessed, alleged, reported, this Russian general disappeared, this Russian was killed, this Russian general, this colonel, this, 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 this. They, they knew exactly all the names, and this is the first time. All right, let's say maybe there were another one or two. I, I didn't, didn't find them, but now I found one, and I don't know why, 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 what changed? Is it because to make him a martyr? He would have been anyway, uh, but this would uh, show, I want to say, weakness, 
Because if you have a commander like that dying, yes, he might be, might have been killed, you know, by fighting boom, boom, boom in the front uh, right there. But uh, you don't want to um, advertise your losses. Because if you advertise your losses, always your losses will have a, a negative effect on your the morale of your people. Regardless if he, were, he was fighting like uh, Rambo or almost, you know, as Rambo. But uh, a lion or something is just, he's dead, gone. So if he was able to be killed by those guys, that means those guys have the ability to, you know, how in the hell he died? He was a commander, blah, blah, blah. And he's, usually these guys are not the first ones shooting, you know, they are a little bit back. So ambushed, surrounded, cornered, identified with, hello, how are you? You remember how the Russians uh, and Americans actually killed some uh, uh, Afghan leaders like that? Leaders, whatever you want to call them. Talibans and other terrorists. <laughs> Phone call, hello, hey, how are you doing? We want to sell you some uh, uh, shoes. Do you want to buy them? Uh, what kind? Yeah, some, something like that. We don't wear shoes, we wear sandals, whatever. It's just... That's the way uh, sometimes uh, used to be done, right? Now I think these guys got smarter. So nevertheless, this guy dead. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.